We sometimes crave for different kind of foods. And the world has thousands of dishes to offer. From expensive food, to traditional, and even unusual. So sit back, and enjoy your meal. Because on this video, we will serve you the most rare and exotic foods found in the Philippines. Shipworms. Shipworms are marine bivalve mollusks. They have soft naked bodies, and can sometimes grow up to a meter in length. They are notorious for boring into wood which immersed in seawater. By the help of their special pair of teeth. That is why they are found normally in mangroves, but also feed on structures such as wooden docks and ships. Making a serious problem to the economy. Where they got their nickname, termites of the sea. Finding them in mangroves, is not an easy task. However experienced shipworm hunters can spot them easily. They start by chopping the mollusk infested trunk. Then split that trunk in half, and extracting the exposed mollusks in sight. Traditionally people eat shipworms raw and marinated with vinegar or lime juice, chopped chili peppers and onions, a process very similar to sevage. The taste of the flesh has been compared to a wide variety of foods, from milk to oysters. Spanner crabs. This odd-looking crustacean is actually a type of crab called the spanner, or red frog crab. A cross between a large sea crab and a big spiny lobster. It is a large crab with a red or orange color, which stays the same in color even when cooked. Its claws are small, and most of its edible parts are in its body. They can move in a forward or backward motion only, unlike other crabs who move sideways. They can remain completely buried in the sand for most of the day, but they emerge rapidly when food appears. These alien-looking creatures are abundant in the coastal waters of southwestern Mindanao Philippines. Spanner crab meat is coarser in texture than other species, and known for its sweet flavor. Coconut crabs Also known as palm thief. Normally weighs about 4 kilograms and is considered the largest arthropod species on Earth. And looking more like a giant spider than a crab, this monster goes beyond exotic and bizarre to downright scary. It gets its name for its ability to dehusk and crack open coconuts with its claws to feed on the meat. This crustacean is known for stealing objects such as spoon, a fork or anything shiny. This creature's diet is usually vegetarian. It loves coconuts more than anything else in the world. In order to get food the crab climbs to the top of the coconut tree. Where it chops off its dinner with its powerful claws, if the crab falls along with the coconut nothing terrible will happen. It can survive a fall from more than 4 meters high without a scratch. Coconut crabs also enjoy other fruits, but they can also snack on newborn turtles and even rats. The coconut crab lives in rock crevices in seaside forests, and locals hunt for it at night by using coconut as bait, or by simply waiting and pouncing on the creature when it emerges to forage. When cooked, its legs and claws taste like regular crab, but its swollen abdomen is filled with thick yellow fat that tastes like toasted coconut. Coconut worms is basically a coconut rhinoceros beetle larva which can be found in dead coconut logs. This beetle larvae may not look very appetizing at first glance, but it can be eaten raw or dipped in calamansi sauce, just like what the natives do in the forest. This creepy creature is best when cooked in adobo style, which is called adabong uak, served with rice and tomatoes is considered an exotic delicacy. And usually served with ice-cold beer, it is considered a popular snack. Worm offers a good source of protein, calcium and iron, and is in fact an excellent source of nutrition comparable to rice and tastes like cashew or peanuts. Giant Shipworms Giant Shipworm is a recent discovery and can be found only in the Philippines. It's also a member of wood feeding and wood boring bivalve mollusk family. But what separates giant shipworm from other shipworm species is that it burrows on marine sediments rather than wood. It also harbors a type of bacteria that provide food to the worm. According to the new research, the bacteria live in perfect harmony with the giant shipworm. 
It thrives in its gills and make food for it in a way that is similar to plants' photosynthesis, only this time, the bacteria use hydrogen sulfide. This worm which grows up to about 90 centimeters, or roughly 3 feet in length, lives upside down in its shell, most of which is submerged beneath mud in shallow bays in the Philippines. The giant shipworm found in Sultan Kuta Rat in Mindanao is also considered as a local delicacy. Locals dive about 3 meters into the sea to fetch the worm and eating it raw or cook it as adobo. Locals describe it as sweet, delicious and nutritious. They even attribute curative and energizing powers to it. However, it is now illegal to hunt for these worms. Exact location of this worm is also withheld due to security risks. Balalut. There's no creative way to describe balalut, but to just tell it like it is it's a fertilized duck egg. Yes, it's a duck egg that has been incubated at about 104 degrees Fahrenheit for a specific period of time. The fertilization process for balalut ranges from 16 to 20 days. So, that means inside this fertilized duck egg is an embryo that is about a week short of hatching. If you can stomach it enough to picture it, this far in the development process the embryo will have feathers and a beak. There you have it. Balalut, a delicacy that has been a staple in the Filipino culture for more than 200 years, is an unhatched baby duck. Crazy? Fruit Bat Stew You may have cringed at the photos and videos of people enjoying bat meat. This habit is rumored to the wake of coronavirus. But up to now, no studies confirmed that case. Maybe you even thought that this practice was barbaric, but did you know that many provinces in the Philippines actually eat the winged mammals? Fruit bats, also known as flying foxes, are a food source for humans in many rural parts of the Philippines and other parts of Asia, where they are sometimes known as the chicken of the cave. In addition to being hunted as a food source for humans, bats are also hunted for their skins and guano. This is truly one of the weirdest foods eaten around the world. Locals went bat hunting and caught several dozens of bats in one trip. These cave creatures were skinned, beheaded, and de-winged. They were then gutted, chopped, and stewed. Another way to serve bats is to boil them in milk before feasting on all parts of the animal. Yes, including the organs and brains. Served in a large bowl of delicious soup, bursting with flavor, with a whole bat staring right into your soul. Comment below which of these dishes made your belly crave. If you liked this video don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.